My name is Adam Plesniak. I'm the director of R&D at Aminex. And we are here in Irvine, actually at the campus of uh, University of California uh, at Irvine. And we have two of our, what we call systems, and actually these are the 7700 systems installed behind me. So these are providing power to the university through a partnership we have with them. Each Aminex system is comprised of what we call seven mega modules. Each mega module is about the length of a flatbed truck. It's about 50 feet and is about 10 feet wide. And uh, each mega module is comprised of 36 single lens parquets and each lens parquet is about a square meter. So each mega module here generates on the order of nine kilowatts of power. Um, when you put them all together in, in a, a form of seven, you get roughly 60 to 70 kilowatts of power coming off of each one of these systems. So right here is basically the hydraulic control system. And this uh, keeps hydraulic fluid in these cylinders. And the hydraulic fluid is used to move the cylinders at the top of the system um, both in azimuth, so in this direction, and also in elevation in the, in the uh, elevation azimuth of the sun here, or the elevation angle of the sun. And then if you follow me around here, we basically have some electronic control boxes here. This is just managing power off the systems. And uh, one feature of our 7700 systems is the inverters. This one is provided by Selectria. Our installed on the actual system. So they twist with the system, they move with it as it tracks throughout the day. Um, that's pretty much it for the base. And then basically we have a very long pedestal here that runs the wiring and the hydraulic lines up to the very top. Uh, at the top we have the hydraulic actuators and we have this big long what we call torque tube which is supporting structurally all the mega modules we saw from the front. If the sun is shaded with clouds the system has an algorithm in it that tells the tracker kind of where the sun is. It's an approximation. When the sun comes back out, when we want to generate electricity, there's a little sensor that's all the way up there. It's between two of the mega modules that it's basically a collimated uh, tube and sunlight comes down and it, and it basically just lights up a couple um, diodes uh, or photo sensors. And it's the balancing of the current in those photosensors which tells you that you're pointed directly at the sun. We are standing in front of one of the Aminex 7700 systems. And I just want to talk a little bit about how we get from the solar cell to the module to the system. So each solar cell in this system is, is pretty small. It's less than a square centimeter. And it's just a little high efficiency triple junction cell. Above the cell is a lens that's about this big. It's about seven inches squared and there are 30 of those optics per lens parquet here. Each lens parquet is about a square meter and uh, that's basically represented by the you know the, the square the square thing here. Um, there are 36 lens parquets per mega module and then there are seven mega modules per system and that's the full system. So you could do the math, there's a lot of solar cells in this system and uh, a whole lot of uh, lens parquets. It, like I said, the, the solar cells are a triple junction material. It's a high efficiency photovoltaic material. And the lens parquets are made of a, a type of plastic. So the efficiency of this panel is about 30%. Um, that's one of the highest efficiencies you're, you're ever going to see in photovoltaics. And it's because of the use of the triple junction cell. In an R&D environment, we've been able to get the efficiency of Aminex modules up to as high as, um, as, as, high as 36% using a 40% solar cell. So you can think that if the cells improve in efficiency over the next couple years, the modules will also improve in efficiency. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the exciting part about CPV is the efficiencies continue to grow and we continue to find new ways to push module efficiency power production and uh, hopefully push it to higher and higher limits. Uh, we don't quite know where the top, where the highest it could go is. But one thing that's really critical about the MNX systems is we're using a type of photovoltaics called concentrated photovoltaics. What that means is that we're concentrating the light 
before it gets to the solar cell. Um, and that comes with a couple key elements. The first one is we only use direct sunlight. Um, the direct sunlight is the sunlight that's directly coming from the sun to you and comprises anywhere from 85 to 90 percent of the full solar radiation you're getting here on Earth. 85 to 90 percent is direct sunlight. So we're taking that light, which is basically unidirectional, and we're concentrating it with an optic, which is the front of the panel, onto cells onto the back of the panel. So what's important about this is that you can only put these panels in certain parts of the world. You can only put them in the parts of the world where they get a lot of direct sunlight. That's where it makes the most sense. Um, so you can think the U.S. Southwest is a great, great area for, for CPV. Um, and in fact, is the area where Aminex has the most installed CPV. There are other parts of the world, be it in the Middle East, North Africa region. There are some parts of China. Uh, there are some parts of Australia, South America, that are also really great for CPV. Um, another great feature of CPV, the cell that we use is less temperature sensitive than silicon cells. So not only can we go in really sunny, direct uh, uh, radiation locations, we can also go in really hot places. And what you'd find out if you, if you looked into it, silicon cells don't perform all that well at really high temperatures. They start losing a lot of efficiency. So our cells lose less efficiency at higher temperatures. Makes them a great choice for really, really sun, sunny, arid, dry climates.